welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel, Healthy After 60. This is a uh, YouTube channel that's dedicated to trying to uh, stay healthy after 60 and uh, doing so through diet, through exercise and lifestyle. And my and thread for today's uh, YouTube uh, video is going to be how sometimes things that uh, initially seem bad turn out really good. And I'm going to be uh, talking, I think, about three of those topics. And uh, I'm going to get right into it right now. I uh, have really come to appreciate uh, a product uh, by Eggland. They're egg white wraps. And uh, they're just made with egg white. I think there's some gum in there that uh, binds it together. But they're the best things that I have found to... Uh, to give you uh, a, a wrap without the carbs and without uh, overpowering what you're wrapping. Uh, the other day, I find Eggland wraps lately at my local Jewel. And so I uh, decided to do a, a Google search and uh, looked for Eggland, uh, uh, Egg Life, Egg Life, uh, Egg White wraps uh, near me. And I found that Mariano carries them, and uh, lo and behold, when I uh, got to Mariano's, I was really shocked to find that they, they have the, uh, the original Egg Life, uh, egg life uh, wraps, and, and they're great. They, uh, they won't overpower anything, and uh, they're just really, really good, and they're just as soft as uh, pillows, and uh, just really, really good. But uh, I also found that they have two new flavors. They've got a Southwest style wrap, which I'll be uh, I'll be uh, actually featuring, I believe, in a upcoming video. And I think in that same video, I'm going to also talk about the uh, the Egg Life Rye uh, wraps. I actually, to be candid with you, I had I had the uh, the Rye wrap. Uh, today with uh, corned beef uh, with some melted, uh, some warmed uh, corned beef with melted cheese, really delicious. You're not gonna re you're not gonna mistake that wrap uh, for rye bread by any means, but it does have rye seeds in it, and it was just really good. It uh, it really worked, and so that's uh, a topic. My second topic is. It seems like I'll go out and I'll try to find an economical uh, uh, package of strawberries, try to find organic strawberries. They look good at the store, only to find that you get them home and, uh, and they're home and they disappoint you. And uh, that really happens with Whole Foods for some strange reason. And you can get Driscoll strawberry, strawberries at other uh, stores. But at Whole Foods, not only are the strawberries good on top, but even the ones below are amazing. Seems like whenever I uh, stray from Whole Foods and I find, uh, I buy strawberries anywhere else, seems like the ones on top are like pretty good. And then the ones below that you go, my, I didn't really uh, notice that they were already starting to uh, um, deteriorate like this. They'll have like, uh, uh, you can actually start to see some, uh, um, a little bit of, uh, of deterioration, some black spots on them that uh, look really unappetizing. That just doesn't happen at Whole Foods. By the way, this particular package I bought, not cheap. I think I spent $5.99 for this uh, package of strawberries. But I've got to say, they, they each of them look like a, a small apple, and so I'm excited about that. And uh, the third and last topic uh, has to do uh, the bad. Uh, the bad was uh, the fact that about a month ago I uh, had a, uh, I was having a health is issue, which was pretty serious. Led to a, uh, oh, let me just say that I, I did a video on this topic yesterday. And uh, it's, uh, it was definitely kind of a departure. It was nothing lighthearted about the video. It was uh, actually about this very topic. I urge you, if you've ever experienced uh, any keto constipation, or if you even are experiencing any symptoms that you might think uh, are caused by uh, 
an oversized uh, prostate, uh, enlarged prostate. Uh, I, about a month ago, was starting to experience some uh, frequent urination, and uh, and then I also was experienced, and then I it led to a. Uh, a urinary tract infection, which antibiotics knocked out that infection. But then a week ago, uh, the uh, frequent urination came back, that problem. And uh, I uh, became very convinced that I must have an enlarged prostate. Do watch yesterday's video. I don't want to get into this topic too much, but let's just say that uh, I have concluded that the problem wasn't an enlarged prostate, but the problem uh, was uh, constipation caused by way too much fiber in my keto diet. I use my uh, ketone breath meter to measure my, uh, my ketone level. I, uh, I look at the scale on a daily basis uh, to see uh, what my weight level is but I really didn't do anything in my diet to really regulate my fiber level. And I've always kind of had it in my head that uh, the more fiber, the better. So it was kind of a blind spot for me. Please do watch yesterday's video. You'll find it really worthwhile. But uh, I, uh, I had a smoothie on a daily basis that uh, consisted of uh, kale, and uh, turmeric, as well as chia seeds and flax seeds, almond milk as a base. And I had that, this whole pitcher would be filled with this smoothie, and I drank that every single day. And uh, let me just say that I've come to the conclusion that that's more fiber than anyone can really handle in their diet, in addition to the fiber that I had in my diet. And it did lead to some consequences. Those consequences, I'm so happy to tell you, are, uh, are fading. Uh, those consequences are, uh, are just a, uh, a real learning experience along the keto journey. And I'm very thankful that maybe because we've all had to slow down, I had a chance to actually, uh, and I think through prayer, I, uh, I had a chance to find out uh, what was actually causing the, uh, the problem. And it was just too much fiber. And I've addressed that, but do watch yesterday's video. And so I've addressed it by cutting out, uh, cutting out the uh, smoothie every day. I uh, said yesterday, in yesterday's video, I think I was gonna cut it back to two smoothies a week, maybe one smoothie a week, but I'm gonna wait until uh, really get the system really back in balance before I, I uh, even worry about that next smoothie. Yeah. And so once again, something bad uh, that led to something good. And I hope that maybe uh, you might be able to learn from my mistake if you might be, at least you might want to question if you might be consuming too much fiber. And so, uh, but I do urge you to uh, take a look at yesterday's video and uh, I think you'll find it uh, has some content that uh, if it's not worthwhile today, it'll be uh, down the road. It's gonna really save you from agonizing and worrying like I was. And so this uh, has been Healthy After 60. I'm Bob and uh, really appreciate you uh, viewing this video. If you found this content to be useful, please hit like, please subscribe.